Hi everybody, this is Richard Hamm. Today I'm going to be talking about Agricola, All Creatures Big and Small, which is a game of animal husbandry for two players. And um, it's basically a streamlined, fast, two-player only version of Agricola, which is just fantastic. If you like Agricola and are looking for a quickie two-player fix, this is your game. If you've been interested in Agricola, but you're kind of put off by how big and complex it is, this is totally your game. Um, you know, I, anybody who just enjoys life and fun, I think this is your game. It's a lovely, delightful, quick little um, Euro worker placement game. So let's just actually start going through the particulars. This is the town, or you know, the near, you know, the the common area where players can go to get resources and and get stuff built. And this is the players' individual homesteads, where they each have one cottage. Where this little number here means they can store one animal, kind of like as a pet in their home, um, and then five other places to build and expand. And, and so this is what I've got. This is what Jen's got. Um, we each start with um, nine fences, which we can use to create pastures, so we can um, store and breed animals. And we each have three workers: one, two, three. So Jen's the blue player, and I'm the red player. And um, I also am first player. I've got the first player token. So with that in mind. Um, pfft, Enough preamble, let's just get playing. Um, every turn, first thing you do is, actually, you fill up the board with resources that we can collect. So, um, every space that has this little brown arrow next to it is a space where it'll be as if you're saying, move this here. So, we move wood over here and wood over here. So, let's do it. Um, I take a single piece of wood, put it over here. I put three pieces of wood. There's a little three wood there. I put three pieces of wood here. Put one stone there, two stone, all there, one um, new fence here. These um, none of these get filled up because they're um, action spaces. And then there's these spaces. So over here, because um, you can see there's little arrows. So I put a reed, a pig, a cow, and a horse. A cow and a horse. Right. And uh, the village is ready to go, ready to start sending Ma, Pa, and um, Junior, uh, or, or their daughter, I suppose, um, to town to start getting resources and building stuff. I'm first player, so I will do so. Take my first worker, and um, always a safe first bet, I'm going to grab three wood. One, two, three. And it comes back over here, and now Jen gets to go. She is going to uh, grab... Yeah, she'll grab two stone, because two stone is better than one, certainly. My turn. I will. Let's see. You know, in the early going, uh, you know, there, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty safe bets that you just want. I mean, we need resources to build anything. So early on, it's just like a race to grab resources. So um, I could get a single wood and get first player, but I'm already first player. I could get a single stone. Meh. I'm going to come here, which is a space where I can get one every time, one wood, one stone and one reed. So I go there, and I get a wood, a stone, and a reed. So that goes into mine. Uh, Jen has a second placement now. She will... Let's see. So there's no good resources left. I mean, she could grab any of these individual animals. She could... She could still start... You know, um, she came here. She could build wooden fences, but she's got no wood. She does have stone, though. She's going to come here. She's going to build some stone fences. So she takes it, and she places it here. So how does this space work? First of all, for coming here, she immediately gets to build two fences for free. And then for every two stone she spends, she can build another fence. So since she's got two stone, that means she could build a total, if she wants to, of three fences. She will do that. She's going to take the two stone she collected. Um, and now she's going to take three of her fences uh, that she's got. And she's going to build them in her space. And she is going to do it thusly. One. No. Yeah. Yeah. One. Hmm. Actually, yeah, okay. I'll just keep it simple. I'll do more complicated stuff later. One, two, three. And now, what has she done here? Let's take a little closer look. She has created now a pasture, a, a, a field space that is completely surrounded by fences. There's these three fences she just built, and her cottage has a fence built in. You know, so there's a, um, a fence around all sides. And that's true for all the buildings. You know, if she builds this stall, it's got fences around every side. So whenever you build a building, you're effectively putting fences down. So because of this, she now has an enclosed pasture. A pasture can hold up to two animals. Remember, our starting cottage can hold one animal. So Jen can hold a total of three animals on her land. Me, I can only hold 
just one animal, the little pet in our cottage. So that was her second move. She got the stone and then she built some stone fences. And now for my third move, um, let's see, now I've got a bunch of wood. I could kind of do the same thing. I could build some wooden fences and try to keep up. Um, or I could do something else. I could grab a little bit more resources. Um, I could, what do I want to do? Um, hmm. I am going to, now I'm going to say, I want to, I want to actually save up some more. I'm, I'm not going to build fences right now. I'm going to hope next round I get some more wood and then do a much bigger fence build. So instead, for my last move, I am going to, uh, don't want to do that, don't want to do that, don't want to do that. I guess, because it's never a bad thing, I'm going to have some reed. I'm just going to take some reed. So I got a single reed. That means I've got two reed down here. Um, and Jen's final move. Now she's got a place to store them. She could actually grab some animals and start, um, you know, going down that road. Or, but you know what she's going to do? Um, she uh, is going to, for her last move, she's going to come up here and grab this single wood. But more importantly, she also grabs the first player marker, which means she'll be first player next turn. So it comes over here, and you notice, flip, it's a girl. So. Jen is first player next turn. So we've placed all um, three of our workers, all six total. Um, next phase, after we've done all our placement, we would breed. If we had animals, they could breed now, but neither of us do. So we skip that phase, and now we take our stuff home. Boop, boop, boop. I get my workers. They come on home. Jen's workers go home. And now we start um, round two of the game. First thing you do every round, refill all the fill of spaces. So single wood comes here. Three wood comes here. A single stone, double stone. And now you'll notice it's a really key thing about the game. Um, stuff that you didn't take builds up over time. We didn't take this single stone now, so now we put another stone here, and there's two stone. Um, so, like, both stone spaces are effectively equal now. Continuing on, um, we're starting to stockpile extra fences that are building up here. And now we fill in these spaces. Now, this is space is empty, so we're going to put a reed again. Because if it's ever empty, you put the first thing, the reed. So I put, because I took a reed, so there's a new reed out here. However, nobody took this pig. We're not going to put another pig down. Instead, it, since there's already a pig, from now on, we put sheep here. If there's nothing here, we put a pig. If there's a pig here, we put sheep. So a sheep comes down. Same thing here. There's already a horse, so a sheep comes down. And over here, where we already have a cow, a pig comes down. And that's um, that. Okay, and now, remember, Jen grabbed first player, so she's first. She is going to grab the sweet and tasty triple wood, because everybody wants lots of wood. Okay, um, and now me. I'm like, oh, I wanted wood. I was hoping to get all the wood, because I was going to have like a whole bunch of wood this turn, but Jen just snagged all the wood, um, because she was first player. <clears throat> so now I'm thinking, well, what do I want to do instead? I guess I'll grab some stone, because <clears throat> there's a nice little stack of double stone here. Jen, oh, sorry, a second. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Now then, Jen is going to... What does she want to do? She's got a nice little stack of wood here. Yeah. Um, benefit of being first player, she gets first dibs on stuff. Um, she's going to go and build some wooden fences. I'm like, no, all my wood, I want to build fences. But she was first player. She got there first. If I wanted, I shouldn't have gone for the stone. I should have gone for there. But she beat me to it. So she's going to, um, with this space, for every wood she spends, she can build one fence. She's got four wood, so she can build four fences. Let's see. What does she want to build? I think... She is going to build, um, hmm, do I want to spend all that wood? Maybe I don't, actually. Hmm. No, I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, let's see, so she's going to build one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's all four of her wood. All four, all gone. So she built these four things. Now... What has she done? Kind of nothing. Um, because this is an enclosed pasture, so animals can go in here. But if you try to put animals in an unenclosed pasture, they will just run away. If you put them in here, there's nothing holding them. Off they go. They just run off into the woods. Same here. If she tries to put it into this in pasture that's not enclosed, so it's not a pasture yet, she puts them in here, they'll just run away. But she's thinking long term um, because she's going to fill this out later. So, um, so she built her. Now it's my turn again. And I'm like, what the heck is she doing over there? Ah, whatever, I'm just going to worry about myself. So, now I could build some fences because I've got a little bit of stone, but not very much. 
But what I do have, I've got just a bunch of general purpose resources. So I'm going to build a building. I'm going to build a special building. As you come down here, um, there's this. we can come here and we build a special building. Now, because, the reason there's a one and one is because both players, if they want, can go here in a given turn. I could go here and Jen could go here as well because we both can build a special building. For everything else, that's not true. Um, I, if I, I want to build fences, right? But I can't because Jen already beat me there. This is the one space where both of us can go. So anyway, um, I've come here, and I'm going to build a special building now. These are the special buildings. The shelter, the open stables, the storage building, and the half-timbered house. And if you look at one of these, here's the storage building. To build it requires two wood and one reed. I could build this. I've got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to build the most expensive thing I can. I'm going to build the half-timbered house because it costs three wood, two stone, and a reed. And what this is is an upgrade to my dinky little cottage. So... I'm going to build it. Here goes my three wood, my two stone, my one reed. This is literally the most expensive thing you can build in the game to upgrade to a half-timbered house. And it goes on top to replace my old cottage. Now, why did I spend through the nose to do that? Because this building is worth five points. I just scored five points for the end of the game. And also, I upgraded my, my current, my old house could only hold one animal. Now... I can hold two animals in my half-timbered house. Jen, she can hold one animal in her cottage and two animals in her pasture and then nothing else. She can have three animals. I can have two animals. And I've got five points. So we're already, we're starting to diverge. I'm kind of going on this building thing. She's going on this fence thing. We'll see where it develops. Jen's got one more worker. What's she going to do? I'll tell you exactly what she's going to do. She's going to come over here where these um, fences have... Ooh, is she? No. I think she's going to wait. She's going to risk a little bit. She wants to grab these fences, but more importantly, when you come here, you get to grab the fences and you get to grab one of these expansion spaces. She is going to gamble that I don't want that. Um, oh, but maybe she... Yeah, that's actually a big gamble for her. Yeah, she's not going to gamble because I might grab that. You know, because there's two fences just sitting here. That makes it very attractive. She's going to go and grab that before I do, which means she grabs the two fences and she gets an expansion to her farm. And it comes here like this. Well, actually, it could go here or here, but she's going to put it here because now she's got more space to expand this pasture into. So that becomes an interesting, you know, kind of long-term, um, you know, logistical exercise of how you want to expand and build. Because once you put anything down, any fence or any building, it can never move. So these are permanent choices. So you have to kind of, um, you know, think short-term and long-term. So anyway, so that was her last thing. My last thing, what am I going to do? I could grab some animals, although unfortunately uh, they'd have to go in my timber house. And um, while I can put two animals in there, they have to be the same type. So if I grabbed a cow and a pig, I'd be able to put either the cow or the pig here and the other one would run away. So that's kind of lousy. I don't want to do that. What do I want to do instead? Well, I'm going to grab this other stone that's just been sitting here the whole time. So I grab some more stone. So chances are next turn I'm going to make some stone fences and I'm going to start storing some animals. So that was it. We placed all our stuff. Now, animals would breed, but still, there's no animals. So we take our workers back. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and once again, we refill the board. This space is because now it's first player and a double wood. That's becoming more attractive because I can get two wood there as opposed to three wood here. You know, if Jen doesn't grab that, I'm going to grab it because I'll get wood and first player. So we'll see what she does. So a single stone, a double stone, another fence. And now, um, since there's already a reed, a pig, or I'm sorry, not a pig, a sheep, a second sheep comes out here, another sheep comes out here, and finally, another pig comes out here. So the animals are really starting to back up, um, and this is probably going to be the turn where some of those animals get picked up. So Jen's first. What's she going to do? Does she want to maintain first player, or does she want to grab something else while the grabbing is good? Um, let's see, yeah. What does she want to do? What does she want to do this turn? She definitely wants to build one of those. Oh, she could build that. That'd be three. No, she, she, she can't do that. So I think what she's going to want to do, yeah, that's what she's going to want to do. She's going to, she's going to take a chance, assume I don't care about wood that much. She's going to grab three wood because she wants three wood instead of two. Boom. And I'm going to, nope, sorry, honey. I want first player. I am grabbing that wood. And now, so um, I have now got the first player marker. But still, it doesn't matter. We continue on as we were. It's her, Jen's turn now. So the wood's all gone. Um, let's see, she's got her wood. She, um, what does she want? Oh, she also needs that. She needs some. Oh, she could do that. But if you want to build more. 
She, she's thinking what she wants to do this turn is build one of these other special buildings because there's only four of them. Once they're built, they're gone. So it's kind of a race to get these buildings. And I've already gotten the best building of the game, so she doesn't want to lose her chance on one of those buildings. So she is going to build. She, no, she's going to want to build. It's either the stables, the shelter, or the storage building. You can't build stables. Unless, stables are an upgrade to a stall. She hasn't built a stall yet. And it's going to be tough for her to build a stall. So I think she's going to want to build a shelter. She's got to, she's going to, use, she's going to grab stone. This is the thought process that goes into the game. You know, when you're, you know, there's so few choices and it's a race to get first. You have to really think about what you want. Now it's my turn. I'm like, oh, I want the stone. Too late. Can't get the stone. Um, and I'm really kind of, okay. I think it's time for me to build some fences finally. So I'm going to go, I've got equal amount of wood and stone. I'm going to build stone. I'm going to build stone fences. Now, because I'm here, whenever I come to do the stone fence building, I get to build two fences for free because it's like I've just got rocks lying around somewhere, kind of you know hidden somewhere. So it's just like those come out of nowhere. Then, plus, after those free um, fences, I get to build additional stone fences <coughs> by using my excess stone. So I get to build two for free. <coughs> ah, and how many additional? So if I use two stone, I can have a third fence come down, and then I don't have any more stone. So I'm going to spend two stone to get three fences, and I'm going to build them thusly. One, two, kind of pretty much the same thing Jen did before. Or is it? Why am I going to do that? Do I want to do this and this? I could do this because I could start building for a bigger pasture. Now, but I really need some space. I need to start picking up some animals. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to build that. Boom. So that was my stone action. Now Jen takes her last action. And she wants her last action to be to pick up some animals, but she's not going to do it. She's going to build a building. <clears throat> and it's going to be this shelter. This shelter um, requires two wood and a stone. So she gives up two wood and a stone. And she's going to build it here. And now what that has done, that has enclosed this pasture. Because remember, every building has a fence. So she's got a two-space pasture, a one-space pasture. She can put animals here, and she can put animals here in the shelter. And now another nice thing. When you build this, this is not worth points. My building is worth points. But um, this is a place you can store an animal. And when you build it, you immediately get to take one animal of your choice. You can take any animal you want. And I tell you, Jen is going to take a horsey. Oh, yeah, she loves horses. So she's got a, this is the first animal anybody's taken. Um, we're on turn three. It's the first animal. She could put it here in her cottage because, uh, you know, they can have one. She could put it here in her shelter. Um, she could put it, she's going to put it here um, because in an enclosed pasture, you can have up to two animals in every space. So she's going to put it here. Um, another thing, by the way, if she ever needs to, you can just move animals around whenever you need to. But anyway, so that was her last action. My last action is going to be, I am actually going to take some animals. Um, and now I've got a choice. I just saw she grabbed a horse. That, to me, says she wants horses. So do I want to come here and grab this horse and like, get it out from underneath her? Um, yep, that's what I'm going to do. And she's going, no, my horsey, I wanted that horse. No. But uh, sorry, honey. Um, you know, Actually, strictly speaking, if she would have been careful, she might not have wanted to have tipped her hat. By, um, but anyway, I grabbed the horse. So I've got a bunch of animals now. So they come back here, and where are they going to go? I've got one little pasture, so I can put my two sheep here, and I can put my one horse as like our, our, our home pony, our little home pet pony. So we've placed all our workers. Breeding time. Jen's got one horse. Um, it is not going to breed by itself, but I've got two sheep. So that means they make a baby sheep. And now I've got a choice. Where can I put it? I can't put it in the pasture. It's full. You can only have two in a pasture. Um, if I put it in the house, I've got to kick the horse out. So what do I want? Do I want more sheep or do I want a horse? I'm going to keep the horse for now, which means we bred. We had a baby sheep, but it ran away off into the woods. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine, though, folks. Don't worry about the baby sheep. So that was the breeding phase. We would take our workers back. Boom, 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 boom. And we refill. One wood, three wood. One stone. So again, the stone's building up here. Two stone. Another fence. Okay. Um, and now a sheep. Sheep are starting to stack up big time. Um, a horse. There's a fresh horse here. And a pig. And I am first now. So where do I want to go? Okay. I'm already out of space. I need, I need, I desperately need. Yeah. I'm going to grab some wood. I'll show you why in a second. We'll see how it goes. Grab the wood. Benefits of being first. So Jen's like, hmm, what do I want to build? What do I want to build? Or do I want to grab some, she some stone out there? She could grab, she's got space for animals. She can start grabbing animals. In fact, she does want to do that. In fact, 
One, two, three. Yep, she's gonna grab some animals. Um, where is she? See, that's the thing. She doesn't have to rush. She knows I can't grab, there's no reason for me to grab animals because I got no space for them. So for her to grab animals now is a bad move. She should wait a little bit and try to grab something that I might take. That she gets, you know, she wants to get there before I get there. So what would she, uh, you, know, you can never go wrong with um, stone. So she's gonna grab some stone. And now I am going to surprise her by coming here. I'm gonna build some feeding troughs. Um, this is kind of like the stone thing where when you come here, you get to build one for free and then for every three wood, you can build an additional one. So I get one for free and, um, how much I'm going to spend at least three wood. I've got a lot of wood. I got six wood now. I'm going to spend three to build another one. And the question is, do I want to spend my other three and build a third? <sighs> I don't think so. Nope. Um, cause I want to save some wood cause I'm going to do some more building later. So. Now, Agricola fans, you would consider this a stable. It's not a stable. It's a feeding trough, but it functions like a stable. What these feeding troughs do is they double the capacity anywhere you put them. So um, this pasture can only hold two sheep. If I put this trough here, now it can hold four sheep. My house can hold two horses. I put this trough here. It can hold four, four animals. So I've suddenly got a place now to hold, I can hold eight animals on my farm. Only two types. Currently only sheep and, and horses, but still that's pretty cool. And Jen's like, wow. Um, but you know, she's going a different way. She's worrying less about fiend troughs. She's got all this space. Um, let's see, she still wants to grab some animals. And now she's a bit more worried because I've got space to grab animals. And so now she's thinking, do I want to try and push my luck or do I want to grab some animals now before you know, me, her opponent does? And I think, yeah, she's gonna grab some animals. So she's gonna come over here and she's gonna grab all these sheep and this pig. And now this means she's going to have to shuffle her animals around. So she'll take the horse out. Here's the pig. And two sheep will go here. One sheep will go here. So now, because in a given pasture, you can, in a given space, you can only have one type of animal. So she can't put a pig here. Um, but, you know, when they breed, she'll have room for another um, sheep. She's going to put her pig over here, and she's going to put the horse in the shelter. Just, um, and she still, you know, has space. She can put another animal there. Now I'm going to go. I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's see. This is really cool that I've got this space, but I really want some more space. So I think I'm going to grab this other stone. So now I've got, I got a lot of resources. I can build something big next turn. And for her last move, she is going to... Ooh. Oh, she's going to get the three for one. You know, that's always a safety. It's always a nice one to have. A wood, a stone, and a reed. Wood, stone, reed. Boom. Okay. And now you see she's got a lot of stuff. She, you know, we both actually have, we could build, both do big building next turn. But we're still on this turn. Time to breed. I've got two sheep. They breed and give me a third sheep. Oh, look at that. So sweet. And I've got room because of my feeding trough. Um, horse does not breed by itself, so that's fine. Um, these sheep breed. Now, um, there's three sheep. How does that work? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many, as, if you have two or more of any animal, you get one baby. If you had eight sheep, you'd still only get one baby. Um, you can, the most you can get, of a, you know, in a given, um, uh, round is one. So, and the horse doesn't breed, the pig doesn't breed, but, you know, so she's basically gotten a sheep for free. And by the way, animals, of course, are worth points at the end of the game. Because this is all about having, you know, the best farm with the most animals. So, the turn's over, we bring our workers back. Worker, worker, worker. Okay, refill again. Oops, excuse me. Uh, wood is building up, one, two, three. But see, now it's kind of getting interesting. We're getting to the point now where we have a lot of resources. It's uh, getting less and less about the race for the resources and more about the race for other stuff. Um, right, so another sheep comes out here. A lot of sheep coming out here. A pig here. A sheep here. And another pig here. My goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now remember, I previously had gotten the first player marker, so I'm first. I want some more space. I definitely want to build some more fences or something now. But do I want to make it more efficient and grab some wood before I try to build the fences? Yep, because I look over at Jen. Jen doesn't have much wood. I'm going to try and build a lot of wood fences. So I'm going to grab some wood first. Wood, wood, wood. Let's see. Now it's Jen's turn. What she want to do? She says, oh, crap. I would have bought, grabbed that wood. But she is going to... Uh, she's going to build a stall. Um, it requires, because, you know, she looks at, I could build this. It requires 
three stone and a reed. I've got it. She's got it. She doesn't know I might buy it, so she's going to build it first. This is the first time I build a stall. Let's talk about stalls. So this is a building. So it's you know, surrounded by um, fences like normal. And it's worth one victory point. And it holds three animals. It can also be upgraded to a stable that can hold five animals. So it's very powerful. Um, so it costs three stone and a reed. So she gives up her stone and reed. Boom, boom, boom. Bye-bye. And now where's she going to put it? It would be silly of her to put it here because it, another benefit of every building is it's got all these... And she puts here, she's kind of like doubling up these walls to no benefit. So it doesn't... So actually, she's going to put it way over here because then she could build fences off of this as well and be more efficient in her space. So she's built stalls. She's got more space for animals on her farm. I'm like, damn, that'd be nice. I should have done that. But anyway, um, I took my risk. I got... Let's see. I've got... Look at all this wood. Which it, oh, do I want to push my luck even further? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna grab this wood. This is gonna be the, the, the woodiest turn ever. And I also get first player, but that means I keep it. So that's kind of, that's a double benefit. Jen cannot take first player from me, so I grab, move there. Jen's like, you know, she looks, oh, look at all that wood. She knows I'm gonna go for fences. And if she wanted, she could, you know, she could, she could put the kibosh on my plans. I've done all this wood, I, you know, I pushed my luck, and in fact, she's smart. Even though she's only got two wood, and it's not really that great for her to build, um, she knows that's my plan, so she's going to put those plans on hold for me. She's going to build some wooden fence. I'm like, no! But I pushed my luck, and so I, I, I'll, now I'll have to wait till next turn to, to build all my big empire fences. So, she's got two wood, she spends them, which means she only gets to build two fences, but look at this. Boom, boom. And she now has a completely enclosed pasture. She is making really good use of her space. Um, you know, she's got all. She could have all. She could have all types of animals. Whereas me, I'm still kind of stuck in this. I'm, you know, things are places are getting tight over here. So like, I shake my fist. You know, with the, I curse the heavens. And so I've got one more worker. I shouldn't have pushed my luck on those fences. But I'm thinking. Look, look at all these fences have built up. Should I do that? Do I want to do that? I'd love to get some animals, but you know I don't have the room for it. I got all this. I could build another special building. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I, no, I can't build a stall. But um, ah, see, the game's really starting to get interesting now. Um, you know, at the beginning, it's it's really kind of pretty simple. You just want to get resources, but now that we you know we've got all the space in the world, we it, things get tough. What do I want to do? These are all good choices. Uh, oh, I could build a lot more feeding troughs. Um, because, every, you know, I can put a feeding trough in an empty space and suddenly that space can hold an animal. And then I can still build something later. It's kind of a goofy move, but it's interesting. I like it. Oh, should I do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to, so I get one feeding trough for free um, and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to do, pay three, three wood, which is another feeding trough. I'm going to put it here. Do I want another third one? No, I gotta save. I gotta build. I gotta build uh, fences next turn. So I just built two feeding troughs. So I've got more spaces for animals now. Now remember, um, a feeding trough doubles, um, you know, what you can hold. But normally a field can hold nothing because they run away. But now they got a feeding trough here. One animal will stay. If I try to put more animals in this space, the rest will run away. But one animal will stay for the feeding trough. So that's my last move. Jen's last move. She's gonna grab some animals because she's got all kinds of crazy places to put them. Look at that. Look at all those yummy pigs. Yep, that's what she's doing. I think it's a little bit wasteful. Or, oh, this is cool. She gets lots of pigs. She gets a cow. It's more than she has space for, in all honesty. But she comes over here. She gets less, but she gets a horse, and she can start breeding horses. And that was her plan originally. So she's going to go back for that. She wants her horses. So she got another sheep. She'll put one here. And she will put, she'll put the two horses in a stall. Isn't that sweet? Okay, that was the breeding time. Me, um, I, another baby sheep is born, and this, this place is now full. Um, and the horse doesn't breed. Uh, another baby sheep is born, because Jen's got five sheep now, but again, doesn't matter how many you got, you only get one additional one. So her baby sheep is going to come here into the shelter, and the two horses breed, so she gets a third horse, and it's going to come over here, and the little baby horse is going to you know, stay in the cottage for a turn. And that's the end of that. Um, we take our workers back. So you can start to see things are getting interesting. As well they should because the game's almost over. There are only three more turns. In this amount, in this, this half hour, I've gone more than halfway through the game. So let's refill. 
just to get, just to make it clear, just how fast this game is. I mean, it's it's I mean it's it's really nice that way that you can just get such a quick fix of Agricola. Um, I mean, you could play four versions of this, four round, four full games of this in the time it would take to play a normal version of Agricola. And you can see we are not keeping up with uh, these spaces. You know, things are just really starting to back up. Sheep comes out here. A brand new horse is born here, and then another pig in this crazy pig town. Now I'm first. There is nothing but awesome choices up here. What should I do? I need to start spreading out. I need to because I, I, you know. But do I push my luck again? Yes, I'm this time. I'm going to grab the three wood, so I can have a really big fence. Because this time, Jen, she has no wood. She can't block me again like that. So this is going to be an awesome fence turn. So she's like, hey, have your fences. Look at how awesome I'm doing. So what is she going to do? She's got no resources. She's still got two spaces she'd like to fill up. So, um, yeah, so she's going to grab, look at four stone. This is crazy. Just four stones sitting there. Oh, my gosh. She's going to grab the four stone. Me, uh, I think I'm going to build some fences. Here we go. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could build eight fences now. Let's do it. One, two, three. Three, I don't know, four, five. Oh no! I have run out of fences. Even though I've got eight to spend, I've only got six sticks. So that means I'm only going to spend six. One, two. Oh, yes. Actually, I'm going to take back that move. I should have counted first. Uh, this is interesting. This will be nice. So I haven't built any of those yet, right? Um, instead of coming to the fences, because I know Jen can't take it anyway. I'm in no rush. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab four more fences. And I'm going to do a farm expansion, which I'll put here, arbitrarily. And now it's Jen's turn, so for the last thing, I'll go, which means, unfortunately, I'll have all my fences, but I won't have time to get the animals. Oh, but it's still gonna be awesome. I just, I'm, I'm set on those fences. So now, Jen, she's like, hmm, interesting. Uh, she is going to, I believe, with all her stone, she, oh, she has no reed. Yep, she wants some, um, oh, so she wants some reed because she wants to build another stall, basically, because he needs a reed for a stall. So does she go here and get a bunch of sheep, or does she go here and get some additional resources? She doesn't have room for those sheep. They'll practically run away. Oh, it's getting complicated. And she could use some more resources. I'm just going to leave those sheep as crazy as it is. She's going to get a wood and stone. Maybe this isn't the smartest move, but I'm, just, I'm playing fast here now just for the purposes of the demo. Okay. Um, so that was her. My last turn. Finally, the one we've all been waiting for. Eight, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fences. Oh, it will be a glorious day. And now I've got, I've got to think about how do I want to build these, um, you know, what, being smart. I mean, let's just go simple first. One, two, let's see what we get. Three, four, five, six. Now I've got two more. So I could like go seven, eight. Yeah, I think something like that's nice. That's interesting. Okay, so these I can't build with. But this is kind of, this means this was a wasted stick if I do like that. And, I, and, I, and, and oh, I hate being wasteful. If I did this, so I um, could, durr, oh, see if I'd gone like this. One, two, oh, this is interesting. I'm going to go this way, I think. So that means, oh, but see, I'm wasting a stick here. But I just don't put that stick there. So now I've got a pasture, another pasture, and these are both pastures that have troughs in them, so they have a lot of space. And I've got one stick left over. Where should I put it? Because, um, you know, building for the future, I could put it over in, you know, these spaces to try and build some up here. I could, you know, with two sticks, I could fill up this last space. Or, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to save it. I'm going to keep one wood left over. So there you go. So that was my big... It's not quite as impressive as I thought, but still, there's a lot of space for animals now. Jen, meanwhile, is going to build for other stall. So that was, was it three stone? One, two, three, and a reed. Where's she gonna put it? In the center? Now she can put it here. Cause you know, otherwise, you know, it's kind of wasteful. So she puts a stall there. So now she's got a place where she can store three more animals. Nicely done, honey pie. Um, so it's really interesting. You know, we've already gone in a completely different way. Um, but anyway, so breeding time. Uh, another baby sheep, and I've certainly got room. Got lots of room. In fact, let's spread these girls out. The girls and boys. Uh, so. Three, four. So in this stable, because it's got a trough, I can put four animals in each space. And um, let's see. And let's move the horses out. 
Um, although still, he doesn't breed. Oh, that sets us the loneliest horse in Agricola history. Okay. Jen, she gets another horse and another sheep. Let's grab a horse and a sheep. Um, let's see. So, she's going to move these horses into the, her new stall. Her other sheep is going to... Where's it going to go? It's going to come here. So she's got crazy sheep horse farm. Um, it's interesting how this works out. Okay, anyway. So, man, this is so fast, I could maybe even finish this whole game. That'd be pretty cool. But I am running out of space on my iPhone, so I might have to stop pretty soon. Anyway, so, uh, refill. More wood. One, two, three. Uh, look at all that stone. It's just it's crazy, you know, towards the end of the game. It's just, it's just piling up when you wanted it so desperately at first. And all these animals, it's crazy. Uh, sheep and all those pigs. Somebody's going to take these pigs this turn. They better. Okay, what are we going to do? I'm still first. Jen hasn't taken it from me. I'm going to get some animals. This is what I'm definitely going to do. I am going to grab the, the, the mother load of hogs and cattle. Look at this. This is crazy. Boink. Now i got to find room for all these. Um, let's see. So I think, let's put the horse over here for a second. Let's move the sheep out of the way because this is obviously where all these pigs have got to go. One, two, three, four. And one, two. So there's room for pigs to breed. And i got four sheep. So they can go into this one here. And now I've got a sheep account. Oh, somebody's going to have to run away. I think I care less. Oh, what do I care about? See, now this thing's interesting. At the end of the game, you score for the number of animals you have. The more animals you have, the more you score. If you don't have at least three of a breed of animal, you lose points. So at the end of the game, and the game's almost here, if I don't have at least three horses, I'm going to lose three points. So if I end up with only two horses, it's a waste of time. So i got to start thinking about what animal am I going to not even bother with? Do I want to go after horses? I don't think I want to go after horses because I don't want to compete with Jen on horses. So I think I'm going to let the horse run away. And so it's going to be another sheep, and it's going to be a cow in my in my home. Um, oh, right, I can have two in my home. Forgot about that. Let's put the sheep down here because there are going to be more sheep. Okay, that was interesting. Jen's turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she would have loved that because she's actually better positioned to like deal with all those animals. But um, what is she going to do? What is she going to do? You know, she really needs to, like me, have some troth so she can like double up the space. But she's got no wood. But, yep, she's going to grab some wood. Good old-fashioned wood. My turn. Now, I need, to, I need to fill up this space, too. What am I going to do? Let's see. Do I, can I build a stall? A stall? Yes, I can. I'm building my first stall. Where will it go? Uh, let's just see. Again, if I'd planned more be better, uh, I would have gotten the stall first, because now this is wasteful. Um, you know, this stick, because... But, oh, well. Say lovey. So I got a stall... And, oh, and it cost me three stone and a, and a reed. And it was worth one victory point. Hooray. Jen's next turn. She um, is now going to build some troughs because she got some wood. So she gets one trough for free. She's going to put it here to double the, the holding power of that, what should we call it? And then she's got her three, her three wood. She's going to build a second trough. And she, she, she double this stable, which means the stable will hold six. She could, yeah, she's going to do that. She's going to double this stable. So this stable can hold six horses now. Oh, it's getting tight. Okay, which is good for her. My turn. So I've got more places to hold animals. I could grab some more animals. See, there's uh, still points to be had by getting those building those extra buildings. Do I want to get some more resources to get some more points, or do I just want to go crazy on animals? Oh, decisions, decisions. Or do I want to stop the video right there? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop. There is... The next turn is actually the last turn because you know the, it's the last turn when this thing comes out. Um, and, you know, I, it's anybody's game right now. Let's say the game stopped right now. I've got five, six points for my stall. Jen's got um, one, two, two points for her stalls um, and nothing for this thing. So I'm ahead on just building points. And how's Jen versus me on animals? I think I'm ahead on animals too, interestingly. So... But you know what? Ah, where is it? Where is the rules for scoring? In-game scoring. So the way it works, uh, if, you, if you have... Um, and oh, by the way, I should say, the game comes with a nice little sheet so you can like, keep track of everything. This is a game Jen and I played before where Jay made 35, I made 37 points. But anyway, um, I'm not going to actually go through it all now. But this is how you can keep track. 
I am going to lose three points for every animal I don't have at least four of. So I lose three points for cows, I lose three points for horses, but I get points for pigs and sheep. Jen loses points for just for pigs. So I've lost more points than she has, where she's going to score better. Oh, I forgot. No, she loses points for cows. It's interesting. Um, you know, if somebody, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll say what the score is, you know, um, in, in the notes. But there's one more turn. I'd say right now it's still anybody's game. How do we squeeze out these last few little turns? Do we grab more animals, more points? Do we build more buildings? Interestingly, Jen is going to score three points for having filled up. Is it three points or four points? No, she's going to score four points for having filled up this side area. Me, I score no points for it because I didn't fill up my side area. Boy, you know what? I'm just going to bet Jen wins this game. But anyway, I hope that gave you a kind of idea how it starts simple but gets crazy towards the end. There are so many interesting choices. And, and you know, unlike regular Agricola, this game is an embarrassment of riches. Um, you just get so much stuff, so many choices. And there, you know, even in this simple little environment, there is a variety of different strategies you can take. You could focus on buildings. You could you know, mix and match. You could focus on um, getting all animals to avoid the negative points. You could really double down because there's thresholds where you know, once you've got, what is it? Like um, in, the case of, in the case of pigs, once you've gotten 11 pigs, your, your 12th, 13th, 14th, every additional pig past 11 is worth two points instead of one. So you could like go crazy and just focus on one animal type or two animal types, or you could go broad and not get any negative points. You could go for buildings. You could go for um, you know, filling up these things for points. It's a surprising amount of choices. And interestingly, uh, there's a thread on Board Game Geek where somebody apparently in the know said there is going to be expansions coming for this. I can't wait to see what else is coming. Um, new building types. It's awesome. It's, I was amazed. I was expecting, yes, it's going to be kind of a neat little thing. But Jen and I were just kind of blown away by just how the game balloons and, um, you know, and blossoms into this really fun exercise. Where It's almost like Lahav. You have so many choices. There's so much stuff. There's no bad choices. Unlike Agricola where you know, it can be um, like you know, getting uh, blood from a stone or a turnip or whatever. Every turn trying to get, um, you know, just eke out a meager existence. So... Long story short, I like it. Um, I don't know, you'll like it. Hopefully you have a, a rough idea based on this video. Um, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, by all means, post, let me know. And uh, I'll try to um, let you know. And I'll also I'll say I'll figure out, maybe I'll finish this back. Nah, anyway, um, long story short, love the game. Think it's great. Agricola in a cosmos sized box. How can you beat that? That is Agricola, all creatures big and small. Thanks, everybody. Bye.